From wind power to solar energy, older technologies are consistently finding new ways to utilize modern energy sources that could help achieve sustainability and advance the global infrastructure. One of those innovations, from 2017, flew under the proverbial radar. A private nonprofit invested in the refurbishment of three kilometers of century-old disused rail lines. The Byron Bay Railroad Co. also fixed up a 1940s-era rail car and trailer car with seating for 100. A main goal for the project was to harness ample sunshine as the energy source for the train. The solar panels on the carriage's roof were specially designed to fit the curved profile, allowing the train to generate up to 6 kilowatt of power. Solar panels on the train shed roof generate a further 30 kilowatt of electricity which is used to top up the train's battery bank. Even the braking system is used to generate power with energy from the brakes directed back to the batteries. The Byron Solar Train has capacity for 100 seated passengers, additional standing passengers. One small step for this humble new train means a big step forward for the sector by proving that transport systems can be fully powered by the sun. CityHawk is a revolutionary VTOL with a uniquely compact footprint and no external wings or rotors, resulting in an aircraft with unparalleled fly anywhere, land anywhere, access under almost any weather conditions. It features Urban Aeronautics groundbreaking internal rotor fancraft technology, which utilizes powerful ducted fans in combination with innovative aerodynamic technologies that result in superior control, stability, speed, safety, noise reduction and sustainability. Its compact size will enable it to land in the middle of a busy city street, making it a perfect fit for medical evacuation missions by dramatically decreasing the time it takes to arrive on scene, treat and transport sick or injured patients to appropriate medical facilities. Hyper-realistic 3D ads have been stunning passers-by on busy streets in China, South Korea, the US, Japan and the UK recently. The creative campaigns blur the lines between technology and reality while showcasing that creativity in advertising really is limitless. As the digital signage industry advances to offer audiences engaging and immersive experiences, many businesses are embracing this form of advertising. The dynamic visuals and stunning effects of digital signage can turn heads, evoke emotions, and truly blow your mind. From lifelike animations that seem to jump out of massive screens to mind-blowing illusions that defy reality, 3D digital billboards push the boundaries of creativity and innovation. The future of 3D billboards holds tremendous potential for transforming how brands engage with audiences. 3D billboard advertising is working towards blurring the line between real and virtual worlds. Additionally, integrating artificial intelligence will enable real-time data analysis and optimization, allowing brands to deliver relevant and highly tailored messages. In a world where personal transportation devices such as electric longboards, segways and hoverboards are becoming more and more ubiquitous, the kickstick is a bizarre addition to the arsenal of any asphalt warrior and is gathering attention from interested skaters from all over the internet. Want to take to the sidewalk on your skateboard, powering yourself forward at hitherto unimaginable speeds by way of a motorized stick that makes you resemble the world's most futuristic gondolier? The kickstick is basically a motor at the end of a stick, or to be more precise, a 3 horsepower, direct drive, in-hub brushless motor at the end of a stack. Used a bit like an oar, the stick features a motorized wheel on the end and a pressure-based throttle capable of pushing your skateboard up to 30 miles per hour. Hot water is a luxury many of us take for granted. We turn on the tap, and piping hot water comes out in an instant. Of course, this is not always the case across the world, and even in the global north, hot water is not without a cost. But, new technology is being developed to move away from this relationship. After all, the world is blessed with one giant natural water heater, the sun. Solar thermal, the heating of water using the sun's energy, has been around for years, but it often comes with challenges. Solaris Kit has designed the world's first flat-pack solar thermal heat. 
The kit consists of a plastic pyramid-shaped frame and prism in which is arranged a coiled plastic pipe. Cold water from a mains connection is pumped into the lower end of the device, which then travels around the length of the coiled pipe, receiving the heat of the sun. At the other end, warm water for bathing or washing, up to 50 degrees Celsius, comes out. While most wind energy projects are firmly rooted in the ground or at sea, some recent innovations are putting turbines high in the sky, where wind moves fastest. The world's first airborne wind turbine launched in 2014 over Fairbanks, Alaska. Held aloft by helium, like a giant cylindrical blimp, the Bat Buoyant Airborne Turbine was designed and built by Massachusetts Institute of Technology startup Alteros Energies to float one feet in the air and capture wind currents five to eight times more powerful than the breezes at ground level. The 18-month experiment generated enough energy to power a dozen households. Because of their sky-high positioning, Bat systems can also also transmit Wi-Fi and cell signals and double as weather sensors. Logistics startup Zipline has flown more than 38 million miles with its autonomous electric delivery drone since the company was founded in 2014. Over the last decade, global demand for instant delivery has skyrocketed. Zipline's new drone, dubbed the Platform 2 or P2Zip, is capable of carrying up to 8 pounds worth of cargo within a 10-mile radius and can land a package on a space as small as a table or doorstep. Zipline's record for safety has been proven over the past seven years of operations and over more than 500,000 commercial flights. The company's next-generation home delivery platform is practically silent and is expected to deliver up to seven times as fast as traditional automobile delivery, completing 10-mile deliveries in about 10 minutes. Zipline completed more deliveries in 2022 than in all previous years combined, and is planning to complete about 1 million deliveries by the end of 2023. By 2025, Zipline expects to operate more flights annually than most airlines. Austria-based Cyclotech lifts off with the first successful flight of its Cyclorotors FTOL prototype. The unique flying car design enhances innovative rotors instead of traditional propellers, which offer greater freedom of movement when vertically taking off and landing. The technology behind Cyclotech's Cyclorotors is a mechanism that was patented almost 100 years ago, although never before used for an aircraft. Wing blades are integrated inside a spinning cylindrical tube to form each propeller. The angle of the blades can be changed during flight to enable rapid redirection. A 360-degree thrust vector control system, which also features gust compensation, functions as an auxiliary propulsion, basically enabling precise maneuverability. Transition from hovering to flight mode is also stable thanks to this technology. That super-quick thrust vectoring is the key advantage of the Voith-Schneider propeller in the marine world. It offers tugboats, ferries, firefighting ships and the like the ability to position themselves precisely in the water, to hold in one spot regardless of what's going on around them, and to quickly balance out towing forces that might otherwise tip them over. Securing borders, hunting drugs, finding threats. Shield Eyes VBAT is the future of next generation UAS. The most tactical, most logistically simple UAS in the world. There's nothing else like it. The VBAT 128 unmanned aircraft features VTOL capabilities and a small footprint, which allow for easy launch, transport, and operation. The drone has a length of 2.74 meters and a wingspan of 2.95 meters. It weighs 56.6 kilograms, including fuel and payload. The aircraft's assembly can be performed in less than 30 minutes by two personnel and the system can be transported and deployed by a minivan, light tactical vehicle or a helicopter such as Black Hawk. The VBAT 128 VTOL drone can be used in defense and commercial applications such as search and rescue, border security, rapid tactical deployment, firefighting and disaster management, transportation, logistic resupply, infrastructure protection and security and energy and oil and gas operations. The unmanned aerial vehicle can switch from takeoff mode to vertical hover and horizontal modes during flight. 
It also offers persistent stair capability throughout a given mission set while maintaining a sensor line of sight. The unmanned aircraft can perform takeoff and landing operations on both static and moving platforms. Snow manufacture is a relatively young industry. The first snow guns were created as a result of low snowfall over winters in the mid-1980s. The most important thing for every ski area is known to be planning security. The Snow Factory is an innovative snow-making technology that can produce top-quality snow regardless of the air temperature. It is not intended as a replacement for conventional snow guns, but rather as a supplement. With their help, snow can be generated around the clock, regardless of the external conditions on site. Thanks to the special snow consistency, the snow in the snow factory has a long shelf life and only melts slowly. The volume of snow is retained even after processing with the snow groomer. With just a single snow factory system, the snow can be distributed hundreds of meters across the entire ski area via underground pipes, without any additional transport costs. The ingenious system improves the transport of the snow, reduces melt losses and ensures trouble-free operation. The Industrial Technology Research Institute in Taiwan has developed a haptic shirt that can enhance VR and metaverse sports and fitness experiences with sensory feedback over the body. Called iMetaWare, it is designed to provide the user with more immersive gameplay as a result of bodily sensations that make the scenario feel more real. For example, during a VR boxing match, the opponent's punches can be felt by the user in different parts of the body. However, the shirt could have value in other industries and use cases too, such as physical therapy. Image recognition technology recognizes motion and generates electrical currents within the shirt to create the sensation of impact where the virtual version was applied. iMetaWare is a cutting-edge smart clothing technology that revolutionizes the virtual sports experience, offering users an unparalleled level of immersion. The City Transformer CT1 is a brand new electric vehicle that's aimed at tackling busy and narrow city streets. A shape-shifting vehicle is a way to call the electric microcar CT1. Thanks to its ultra-compact modular chassis, the foldable setting of City Transformer comes to life. The platform is layered into two divisions, the first, called Performance Mode, sets up the City Mode which easily expands the wheels for a compact car, and the second, named City Mode, pulls the wheels back into the chassis so they are hidden in the car's frame. With this, the 1 meter wide, ultralight electric vehicle can support multiple vehicle uses from food deliveries to daily commutes. However, at 1 meter wide, the speed is limited to 45 km per hour due to the design. If that's not quick enough for you, a simple transformation to 1.40 meters wide will let you go twice as fast.